Hi guys, Allison here, the Bored Housewife. Thank you so much for joining me for another week's episode. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the last three episodes of us talking about identity and kind of figuring out who we are and how that helps us not only figure out the sort of things that we need to change about ourselves, but also like once we start implementing this change into our life and how hard that can be just um, when you're, you know, coming into contact with people who might not be supportive or very negative um, or coming into a new group and, you know, feeling all sorts of different insecurities, um, how understanding how we build our identity or in at least the opinion that I posed, right? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm no professional in any way. It was just an idea that I had in it helped me kind of get to um, have this better idea of, you know, getting over what people think of you uh, when you understand how you're building your idea of who you are and painting this picture and, um, you know, how you can use that to help yourself realize that, you know, other people's opinions of me don't matter. They just don't get who I am. So that kind of leads into this week's episode. I wanted to talk about opinions because um, I recently had an experience on social media where um, I was trying to uh, participate in a conversation and I'm going to get into all of that in a minute and give you like a brief overview. Like the argument doesn't matter as much as like what I found interesting about it. Um, but it's frustrating because I know that I'm super apprehensive about sharing my ideas and feelings and all sorts of things on social media or even just with people, you know, like certain groups of people sometimes it's really uncomfortable and yeah, you need to like kind of read the room, <laughs> you know, and depending on what you're talking about, sometimes it is just easier to kind of be like, I'm going to keep my opinion to myself sort of thing. But, um, when I'm saying a opinion, I'm also talking about like our ideas and our thoughts, like all of that can kind of be interpreted in a similar sort of way. And so I'm just doing this episode today to um, not only sort of help myself uh, <laughs> feel more comfortable putting um, my ideas and feelings out there, um, because obviously, hello, I have a podcast that's all about opinion, right? Um, and how, how, how I see life and these ideas and all of that. But not only that, but the fact that it's important to have these things because it leads to really good conversation. And when we disagree, that's an amazing opportunity to, you know, may, maybe be inspired by somebody or have a new thought on something or a new perspective, or even just, you know, respectfully say, you know, I just cannot, like, I get your point of view. I understand it, but it's just not how I see things. And, um, but I appreciate, you know, that, you have that point of view. So anyways, we're going to get into all of that in this episode. Um, but I just want to, uh, you know, kind of encourage everyone to kind of put things out there because I ask a lot on my social media in in different ways, like wanting people to contribute to conversation. And um, so far, I've only gotten like really nice <laughs> things. I haven't, on my personal stuff, I have not gotten anything negative. But, um, you know, I just want to breed an environment that is very um, inclusive to all sorts of ideas and thoughts and feelings that are, um, you know, positive and respectful. Like, obviously, when people just come on and are just hateful and mean, and I'm going to talk about those people in a minute, um, you can do what you want with that, right? They're just there for a specific thing. But anyways, we're going to get into all this. So... Um, if you've been enjoying these episodes, please like, comment, subscribe, um, check out my social media pages, and share this with a friend. If this is something that um, has been really helpful to you and you're a housewife or a stay-at-home mom um, or just somebody who is here that's, uh, you know, looking for a little bit more critical thinking and trying to see the world with a different perspective. If you're tired of that self-help bullshit um, and you also know somebody that is in a similar place to you, um, please share it. I would love for you to share my stuff with your friends so we can just 
continue to make a greater and more awesome community of housewives and, um, you know, people just who are trying to think out of the box a little bit. So anyways, um, <laughs> I am sipping on some white wine this evening. I think it's a Pinot Grigio. Um, and yeah, so grab your wine or beverage of choice, uh, cocktail, coffee, whatever time of day it is for you and whatever you're sipping on. I've been having lately is that we all have opinions and we're all very much entitled to them. I mean, it's one of those things when you really think about it. You can't help it when you think about something. You can maybe not say it if you think it's, you know, mean or, um, you know, just going to cause drama or something like that. But um, when we live in our current society that is becoming so sensitive to disagreement, to the point where, you know, just because I disagree with you doesn't mean that either of us are right or wrong. Like, there's so much gray area in all of these things. And one thing that I realize is, like, when I have different opinions from people and I talk to them in person, our opinions really aren't that far off. Like, there's a lot of things that we have in common, but when you're specifically on social media or in that kind of, like, online internet forum you can only say so much, right? And even when you're like writing something, um, you can only say so much unless you're like writing a book, right? Then it's like <laughs> you have all the time or like a really long essay. But how many people are coming online writing essays, like talking about their ideas and the things like that, you know? Um, even news articles these days, like our attention span is so short when it comes to that stuff that we just throw out quick ideas and they get misconstrued so easily um, and then people just kind of pick out what they what kind of triggers them you know and it's like oh that's what it is so I part of like doing this podcast too and like wanting to talk about these philosophical ideas not only to relate them to the housewife and like kind of embolden the stay at home wife or the stay at home mom, um, but also in general just to get people to start being a little bit more accepting of different ideas and, um, you know, practicing some critical thinking and just being open to a whole bunch of different perspectives. And so I thought this was kind of an interesting topic to do for today. Um, because I just, you know, had this personal experience that was kind of weird. And I've had issues before on social media, like on my personal stuff, that I knew was going to be polarizing. And um, I posted it anyways. <laughs> and yes, I got a lot of shit for it. Um, but with my podcast page, I try to stay like pretty, pretty neutral. And I know like, the more I'm getting into it, I, I know I say some more ideas because like the self-help industry is so strong and there's so, like it's such a thing that like again it's it's like a diet or like the fitness industry where we are now like using mental health in a similar way like let me give you all this stuff to like help you feel better about yourself and then like you're just going to continue to cycle and never really get better and never get any answers and not that I'm sitting here saying that I have any of the answers because I don't, but I'm being honest about that. And I'm just giving you another opportunity to like live in more of an honest environment and have some more honest reading materials where you're not going to get all the answers, but you might get a little bit closer and you might be more content with realizing certain things, right? Okay, so I do have like strong opinions about stuff like that, but Otherwise, like, on here, I want to, you know, have, 
have this space more so of exploring ideas. And sometimes you guys do comment on some of my stuff and you bring ideas to whatever I said in the podcast or whatever I posted on social media that I didn't get. So you get something different even from what I, like I'm talking and I have this idea that I'm bringing forward and you guys still take different stuff from it. And I think that's so cool. And that's why like, I love it so much when you share with me because you inspire me even more. Like, yeah, I was saying all that stuff and I totally understand where you got to your point from, but like, I wasn't thinking that at all. But like, yeah, that's such a cool idea. Um, and you know, even if you posted something and I didn't like 100% agree with you, um, I would still, you know, as long as you're being respectful and it's not just like hate towards Allison, <laughs> um, you know, I think it's it's just great that when we have these different outlets to have like open conversation and share freely ideas and stuff that, um, you know, even a disagreement can be very inspiring and, um, you know, lead you to think about sort of some different stuff. Because here's the thing, like, we're not always going to like agree on everything like this this whole world sees things so much differently and based off of like how you grew up and what part of the world you grew up in even in the United States like there's some things that we can all kind of like understand but depending on what part of the country you live on or live in um, you're going to bring a totally different perspective to that conversation Um, and you can feel so like right in something and like this is what it is and then you meet somebody new and you allow them to tell you their experiences and their stories and then you know they still might not fully change your mind but you might then reevaluate what your thought was on that thing you know um i've definitely had several of those experiences in my life and so it's like when we're entering these different forums and we're you know looking for community and looking for um you know something that will broaden our horizon, inspire us, and motivate us, and all that stuff. Um, I just, you know, we should be able to talk freely in these ways. And we can't because there's these people who I am calling trauma bullies. Um, And some of them aren't just trauma bullies. Some of them are like other things. But this is the type of person that I came into contact with. And I want to be very clear, I'm not making fun of people who have had bad experiences in their life. Um, I've said so many times on here, like, we all have had shitty things happen to us. We've all had varying levels of shitty things happen to us. Um, We are what we are. We experience what we experience. And so, um, you know, that's, that's about as best, like, just because you didn't have like the worst experience ever, you know, whatever. So I'm going to get to that in a minute. But um, anyways, I'm not making fun of people who have had traumatic experiences. It sucks. And I feel, you know, I'm really sad and sorry for that. But it doesn't give you this right to go on and harass people on the internet, okay? (laughs) Um, just because something bad happened to you does not give you right to be an asshole. Like if anything, you know, take a step back and get off the internet for a minute. Like if you're going through some shit, like just, just go get off the internet. It's, you shouldn't be there. Okay. So I'm going to say the topic that I was talking on is a very sensitive topic. Okay. And I'm going to put it out here right now. So if anybody is uncomfortable with this, you can turn off your, the podcast and move on but the topic was about suicide and I'm not going to get into all the details about the conversation because honestly that doesn't matter um but I was on a philosophy page okay and there was this topic of suicide that was brought up and I'm going to tell you that philosophers have philosophized is that the word <laughs> philosophy philosophize, philosoph, okay, I'm not going to say it right. Philosophers have been thinking (laughs) about suicide uh, for centuries, okay? Like, since humans could think, like, until that ever, you know, became a thing, people have been thinking about, like, how could someone do that to themselves? Um, 
and there's books and writings and essays and all of that from philosophers on this concept. It is, my point is, it's very much something life and death and especially taking your own life is something that is contemplated over and over and over again and we're never going to have the answers to. So this is one of those things that we're just going to keep thinking about because we will never have the answer to. You know, it you can't, right? So I um, posted a comment and I was very respectful. I wasn't saying necessarily anything that should have, I thought, been polarizing. I posed some very philosophical points of view on this post. I had a few people actually comment on it with some different things. And I was like, oh, thank you. Like, that's some great perspective. And um, yeah, okay. Like, no, no problem. Then this girl comes about. And she just starts going off on me. And she, I don't know, like, what she took from my, she took one thing from my original post, um, and just kind of ran with it. And then, um, you know, like basically couldn't get off of that. And what I found out, it was pretty evident. Like she can like started to give me and what I'm calling her trauma resume. Um, she's had some very personal issues with suicide and she's on there telling me that it is just a mental disorder. And I continue to tell her, um, you know, I'm very sorry for your experiences because I am, I feel very badly for anyone who has to go through something like that. But, um, I don't need your trauma resume. This isn't what this is about. We're not here to compete against who sh- who gets to talk about this and who doesn't. Um, this is a, life conundrum, right? With something that is very confusing. And if you are able to separate yourself from it emotionally, it's something that you can contemplate on and have some like, you know, really interesting conversations about, which I've had. And I've had philosophy classes. I had an entire philosophy class that was about life, death, and dying. And we talked a lot about suicide in that class. And she continued to tell me that suicide is not a philosophical concept to talk about. And I just was like, you are on, like the page that I was on, the Instagram page is a philosophy page. (laughs) It was a philosopher who had this idea that we were all talking about. And she obviously was having a hard time with her scenario and was angry and looking to beat people up on the internet. And so this is where I get the term trauma bullies from because she had to tell me all about her resume and all the things that was going on. And I continued to tell her, I'm really sorry about all of that, but you're on a philosophy page. And she continued to tell me that this is not philosophical. This is a mental scenario. Yes, it is. There is a, obviously a lot of psychological, mental conversation, mental health conversations that go around that. I understand that. Majority of those conversations about suicide probably are that. But again, there is a philosophical world inside of the whole thing um, and that I personally find very interesting and my own personal experiences have led me down this route, okay? And anyways, but I wasn't going to get into that with her. I'm not going to like, let's compare resumes to see who has the most experience in this area. Like that's so dumb. Like we obviously have very different experiences, but just because you have this really shitty thing that happened to you doesn't, doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to still think or talk about this. And that's pretty much what she told me. She pretty much told me I had no right to talk about this. Okay, well, that is her opinion, right? But my point is, is like, we are allowed to talk about it. And the fact that we do talk about it when we don't necessarily know that much about it is even better. Like, yeah, sometimes you kind of get your ass handed to you when you think you're like a know-it-all and you like come forward with an idea. 
but how great is it when you get to learn something new? And that's why it's like good to be humble and respectful in these scenarios. And, you know, I eventually was just like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm really sorry for what happened. Um, and then she like, and, and I, but I didn't step down because I'm like, I do have a right to talk about this. Anybody who is alive has a right to talk about this. Um, and also you're on, again, you're on a philosophical page. If you're, this is a fil- like, this is a philosophy topic. Like I'm like centuries of philosophers <laughs> have been talking about this. I've done a lot of philosophical reading on the topic. I'm allowed to talk about this. Um, anybody, even if you don't, even if you don't have a lot, you're allowed, you're entitled to an opinion about it. And what's cool is when you actually don't know that much and you come forward and you say something and somebody is like, hey, actually, you know, it's more like this or, you know, I used to think that too, or comes in a more respectful manner and maybe gives you some other reading material or something else that they've, um, you know, when I started looking to this, this is what I started to, um, uh, you know, first look up and kind of, this is how I like got my to- like dip my toes in the water into this topic, whatever. Like those are really great conversations to have and respectfully help somebody understand where they're at. And, you know, when we have these people that come in here and just try to shut people down because they don't like what they had to say, um, it makes people really apprehensive about coming forward and saying anything again. Like, had I been in a different headspace, I probably would have just been like, okay, sorry, and like, never commented again, but I'm in a different place right now, and... (laughs) definitely more enlightened space and I'm just calling people out on their bullshit now like no you don't get to tell me that I can't talk about something so I really just wanted to you know my personal experience of having this and like also knowing how scary it is sometimes to put your ideas out there especially on the internet um wanted to kind of share this to maybe help some of you you know take the leap and give it a try. (laughs) This is going to be a shorter episode this week, but I just, um, hope you guys have found this kind of interesting. Um, you know, again, like there's so many different scenarios and like, obviously in that like, uh, example with that woman, I was not getting through to her at all. She is going through a really hard time and nothing I could have said would have really helped her at all. Um, I will say her like last comment was a little bit milder, um, but she still told me that I shouldn't be on the internet talking about the topic. So, okay, um, <laughs> not going to necessarily stop talking about it, but um, it's also not something that I decided that I needed to continue to engage with her. And that's another option too. Like when these people come at you, um, you know, you can eventually bow out. And if you come th- forward and your idea is a little radical or um a little different like it might it might not sit well with some people right and in those moments you you kind of have to like have a conversation with yourself like do I like am I ready to kind of defend myself if I need to or have these discussions but if anybody ever comes at you in that sort of way that she did where just very aggressive um those people are just mean, hateful people. And like I said, they're like trauma bullies or, um, you know, have some other thing going on in their life that this is where they get their kicks from, you know? And like how we're talking about last year, like, or last week, it's like, you can't care about what those people think. And I just, you know, I want to bring forth having more honest and open conversations and allowing for different ideas and disagreements to come into place but then have them done respectfully and have them done in a way where nobody leaves with hurt feelings everybody is understanding that um you know at least we see things differently but like I guess for me I can be in an argument with somebody and I can understand where you're coming from. Like I said, that girl and all the things she was saying, I totally saw her point of view. I didn't agree with any of it, 
but I understood what she was saying and maybe some of the stuff that she was going through. Um, but that's not my problem and that isn't my experience. Um, and just because I don't have that experience doesn't mean that I still don't get to have an opinion about things. And even listening to her experiences, um, I definitely took them into consideration. I thought for a minute, like, you know, if, if that was me, how would I feel? And in that moment, I kind of felt like, well, I think I would feel the same way about this. And so, um, you know, we can only know what we can know. But I don't think it's fair for us to feel bad about ourselves when somebody comes in and they try to, like, trump you with, like, their more drama, trauma, crazy life stories and, like, oh, you don't get an opinion now. I don't want to hear it from you. And I've been there before. I know I've shut down conversations from my past trauma that I kind of identified with. Um, and then I think that's kind of all wraps up, like, when there's certain things that you take on as part of your identity, it makes it really hard sometimes for you to be open-minded and more accepting of a lot of these different ideas and perspectives. And so, you know, when we take things on, especially like if they are a more negative thing, like what is that, how is that serving you? What is that doing for you sort of thing? So anyways, um, I just selfishly want all of you to comment more <laughs> be more engaging but honestly no if you don't have anything that you feel comfortable saying like this isn't to pressure you into saying that I just wanted to share my experience because I'm still here and I'm surviving that girl didn't take me down in any ways right um and even if she tried to like obviously like at this point it doesn't matter anyways I have like zero followers but um you know for those of you who are considering <laughs> stepping out or if you see something, you're like, oh, I would love to comment on this, but I don't, you know, I don't want to participate because I don't want anyone to, like, be mad at me on the internet. It's like, fuck those people, okay? Like, they're assholes. If someone comes at you and they're not nice about it, then they're not worth it anyways. Like, if someone comes at you and is like, hey, you know, respectfully, I disagree with you, then great. That's a conversation to engage in. Um, but anything else that you get, those people are crazy. So um, they're going through something hard and tough, and they are not worth your worry. So anyways, um, thank you guys so much for uh, listening today. And um, I hope you enjoyed this month of episodes. Um, I hope I've helped inspire you to continue to work on whatever sort of... Um, growth or anything that you've been, um, you know, working on while you've been listening to these episodes. Um, a lot of it's really hard and like always, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take so much time. And, um, you know, even when it doesn't feel like you're doing much, like I personally just finished my second draft of my screenplay. Uh, <laughs> so this whole last month I've been like, oh my God, the resistance is winning. The resistance is winning. But I've still at times found, even if it was just like an hour's worth to sit down and write um, and not like what I wanted to do, like my schedule and everything did not look perfect, okay? But I still did stuff. And um, yesterday I finished my second draft of the screenplay. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's done. <laughs> um, so it's it's so far from like being done done, but like, that second draft was really weighing on me. So, um, you know, just, you know, I helped me be able to have a little bit more perspective in that where I've been like beating myself up being like, God, like this is so hard and this resistance is winning all the time. And anyways, um, it wasn't, I won, I finished that sucker. So anyway, <laughs> I'm very excited about it, but um, I hope that all of this has just been very enlightening to you and able to help you think and have some new perspectives. Um, please comment, like, subscribe, like I said, share with a friend. Um, if you would like to get a monthly newsletter, um, you can go to the website and the link in the description and, um, sign up for that. I will also, I think hopefully be posting a blog this week. So, um, you can sign up for 
those notifications as well. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Um, get ready for May. I can't believe it's May already. It's kind of wild. So anyways, uh, cheers guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.